welcome back to another video don't forget to subscribe and also turn on the bell icon to receive notifications the adf rebels have continued to attack and kill more people both in uganda and the democratic republic of congo on monday night the adf rebels attacked a certain area in the eastern democratic republic of congo known as ocha and they killed very many people they destroyed homes they burnt homes and also destroyed people's properties the adf rebels killed more than 20 people around 26 people so far they have recovered 20 bodies six are still missing it is also a culture in the adf rebels that every time they attack a particular area they have to kill people and also abduct some people in that area like you've seen here in uganda in a certain school they came attacked that school killed some people and some students were abducted as adf continues to fight in the democratic republic of congo uh, citizens in that area of ocha are very angry that area is being controlled by FODC soldiers and also the UPDF soldiers. Citizens in the area, they were very angry. They went on to demonstrate. They banned humanitarian aid vehicles, trucks, tents. They destroyed them regardless of those containers carrying food. They were like, we are not interested in eating. After eating and adding weight on our bodies, having energy, we are being slaughtered by the ADF. And it is known that this place is being controlled by the FODC soldiers and the UPDF soldiers. People were very angry. They went ahead to burn the vehicles. They were angry. They were like, we don't need aid. We don't need a humanitarian aid. The United Nations have continued to contribute and support the Democratic Republic of Congo, most especially Eastern Congo, that is facing challenges from different rebels in the democratic republic of congo so far they are now 130 rebel groups in the democratic republic of congo that are fighting and also attacking civilians capturing abducting and also destroying their properties as fighting continues m23 and uh, and also if i would say they are still fighting also in the democratic republic of congo as we've also seen the wazalendo group that is that contains different militia group including my my it was the wazalendo group has different people including also if i would say soldiers it has mercenaries it has the fdr rebels fdr rebels have taken long and also they have been fighting the government of Paul Kagame. It is a threat to the Rwandan government. The FDRL that has the Hutus who were involved in the genocide in the Rwandan, they are known as uh, the tough rebels who don't care about humans. They just slaughter and destroy. The Wazarendo have continued also to fight with the M23 rebels in the Democratic Republic of Congo. Every other time, they keep shooting, they keep slaughtering, they carry machetes because for them, they think they are energetic. Also, that Wazarendo group was formed by young Congolese women and men who decided to wake up and fight for their country. They joined forces in the Wazarendo group that also is being supported by the by the president of the Democratic Republic of Congo, President Felix Itishekedi, who is now a presidential candidate. He has continued to add more energy on the Wazalendo group because he has hope in the Wazalendo group after being disappointed by the East African Community Regional Forces in the Democratic Republic of Congo. And in the past few months, he came out and he said that he no longer needs the ESCRF in the Democratic Republic of Congo because he expected them to fight the M23, but they are not fighting. As the president, he was disappointed and he said in December they should leave the country. For Uganda, for East African Community Regional Forces, they are still confused because uh, they, if they fight the M23, they will have. Uh, uh, fought the Rwandans, and also if they fight uh, the EF, EF, I would say they will have fought Democratic Republic of Congo because FODC is helping UPDF to fight the ADF in the Democratic Republic of Congo.